In the Brussels region, a large number of people don't have any access to basic health care. According to the Belgian NGO Médecins du Monde, 30% of residents in and around the Belgian capital are not registered with a GP. This was the case for Pietro before he found this health and social centre in Molenbeek. It offers a range of services for the elderly, homeless and those with drug addiction problems, making sure they have access to proper care and support. The service we offer here is a kind of comprehensive care with different entry points. We focus on providing medical care, social services, debt management advice, psychological support. These kinds of social issues come up regularly during a medical consultation. Pietro from Italy came to Belgium almost six years ago. He first went to the centre for help, but now organises theatre courses there. It is an experience that goes beyond the simple fact of coming here because you have pain or a problem. There's a kind of human encounter happening in this place. Several services have been brought under one roof in an effort to have a more effective patient-centred approach. Pierre oversees the initiative with the help of Médecins du Monde and other local medical centres and social services. The concept we're working on is the idea of global well-being. That means working 360 degrees around the person. The most important services we provide are health care, mental health services and social services to help with housing, legal issues, access to benefits, but also help with finding work and obtaining other resources. The total cost of the initiative was nearly 7.5 million euros. 3.7 million of that came from the European Cohesion Policy. The project includes two health and social centres. The second one of these is still being built in Anderlecht, one of the most deprived areas in the Brussels region. The aim of this centre is to be very accessible, so it will be multilingual and offer a wide range of activities and services. We estimate we should be able to receive around five to 6,000 people here. Due to open in spring next year, it's hoped the centre will help to unite the disparate areas in this part of the city.